Hi, this is Paul Erlinson from Link Studio Technology. Uh, today, we're looking into a brand new feature on our newest product, the Aurora Inn. Um, this is the first product we've made that, in addition to being a converter, which we're well known for, it's also a recording device as well. There's an SD card slot. Um, there's a couple things you can do with that, like firmware updates, but one of the more exciting things it'll do is it's basically a recorder. You can record up to 32 channels of audio, uh, up to 192 kilohertz. Uh, some of the SD cards have really high capacity, so you can record a lot of audio on that tiny little micro SD card. Um, since we've released that feature, we had some ideas in mind of why it would be useful to people, but we've been surprised to see people letting us know what they're using it for that's things we hadn't even thought of. Um, so for instance, you know, remote recording is a real obvious one. You just want to record something and just bring this along instead of a computer and record directly to it. That's a good one. Um, it's also very useful for redundancy. So you're recording a band, it's mission critical. If anything crashes, you're dead meat. Um, just have this recording as well. So you're capturing everything in addition to what's going into the computer. This is all separate pathing than the computer, so you can have two different things going on and it handles it just effortlessly. Um, you could use this for an installation, for just playing back a playlist. Um, or let's say you're in the recording studio and a band's all set up, they're mic'd up, they're recording tunes, but they're just kind of jamming in between. You don't really want to put that into your DAWs project because you have that all tempo mapped or whatever. Um, just capture it here so it's, it's caught. If something good comes up, you know, you have it. So that's very handy. Uh, it could be used for backing tracks. Um, also, someone told me they're using it as a sort of delivery medium. So after they're done with an artist, they just hand them the SD card, they take it home, they've got all the tracks to do what they want with and overdub or, or do uh, rough mixes or whatever. So it's a very powerful feature. Uh, there's a lot of applications for it. And the nice thing is it's very easy to use. And today we're going to explore how you go about recording with it. Okay, so if you're gonna start recording with an Aurora in, one of the important things to consider is the media. So not all SD cards are created equal, so it's important to get one that's suitable for your intentions. Um, so there's two things to consider here. One is capacity and the other is speed. So for micro SD cards, there's three capacity classes. There's SD, SDHC, and SDXC. Now, SD is up to two gigabytes in size, and that's just not really big enough for doing audio, so let's not even consider that. SDHC gets you from two gigabytes to 32 gigabytes, so that's quite a bit more interesting. And then beyond that, SDXC does 32 gigabytes to 400 gigabytes, and there's even some new ones that are proposed, supposed to hit the market in about a year, uh, that are one terabyte or even two terabytes in size. So that's an interesting class if you want a lot of channels, a high sample rate, or just have it running all the time for hours and hours. Um, so, so those are the three to look at there. The next thing is speed. So for this use, we want to look at the class of micro SD cards called UHS. That stands for ultra high speed. Uh, and there's two different ones to consider. UHS-1 will do up to 10 megabytes a second, and UHS-3 does up to 30 megabytes a second. Now, how many megabytes per second is the Aurora Inn capable of? Well, the answer is 18. If you had a fully loaded system, 32 channels of I.O., and you were recording at 192 kilohertz, that would take 18 megabytes a second. So if you intend to do anything like that, then yeah, you want a UHS-3. If you're gonna do much fewer channels, let's say you're only doing eight channels, you're just doing 96 kilohertz sample rate, you could get by with a UHS-1. So it's kind of relative to the intentions. Uh, beyond that, we do recommend sticking with some of the known brands, Samsung, uh, SanDisk, Kingston. Um, so let's just stay to start. If, if you're wondering what to go out and buy, uh, go with like a UHS-3 32 gigabyte micro SD card. They don't cost too much. Some good ones would be the Samsung Evo or the SanDisk Extreme.